It's a 2015 Chevy 253500 install video for the grill guard on there. It's a very, very simple install. Um, to begin with, you're going to take, if you got tow hooks, you need to take the tow hooks out. If this truck did, if it does not have tow hooks, I believe there's a plastic insert in here or filled in. I, I'm not positive on that one, but it will have to be cut out to access to where the tow hook's supposed to be. If you got tow hooks, the tow hook needs to come out. And this is your bracket that's going to go on there. Your bracket's going to go on the outside of the frame and on the bottom of the frame. You can see your hole here. It matches exactly how the tow hook's going to come out. The tow hook's got one vertical or horizontal bolt on there, and then it's going to have one vertical bolt right there. The tow hook's going to go back in there, and you're actually going to use your factory bolts. This is the one that goes through the frame that connects that tow hook in there. And then this one's your vertical bolt in there that's going to go back up underneath there to connect the bottom, and it's going to go through the bottom of your bracket and it's going to re-bolt back into your tow hook. This one the tow hook's got the bolt. The other one you're going to have a nut on the outside of the frame that reconnects that guy. So that's how all that's going to go back together just back inside your frame. Right here you can see it's right at the very very tip. You can see there's your bottom vertical um, bolt and then there's your horizontal bolt right there that's the longer one that's going to go through the frame. So it's a very simple um, install. I'm going to take this back apart and I'm going to show you. You've got to kind of twist the bracket a little bit when you put it in there. And then that's exactly how the bracket goes. And then you're going to reinsert your tow hook. And then you can get in there and get somebody up underneath there to reinstall your bolts. Put both the bolts in first before you tighten either one of them. That way you can move it around to get it. And when you tighten that, once you get both your bolts in there, tighten your bottom one first, your vertical bolt, which is your little one, and then you tighten your side bolt on there. On the other side, we've already got the other side mounted, and I'll kind of show you too. See this all mounted, it's all tied up, your tow hook's still back in there. Um, on your grill guard, there's another plate that looks just like this on the bottom of each upright, and the holes go the other direction. You're going to end up using this half by one and three quarter bolt. There's four of them. You're going to use those bolts to um, to install your your grill guard to your brackets. And right now, it, there's to easier understand how this is up underneath. Right now, there's a picture that you can see to um, see how the brackets go on without the bumper on the truck. This is now mounted up. You can see the bolts that we talked about, the half by one and three quarters. We've got four of them to them on each side. We've tightened it so far. I'm going to show you here in just a second how we aligned it. I want to backtrack just a second. When you take the tow hook out to mount those brackets, as we stated, those are 18 millimeter bolts just to help you out on what size bolts those are. And if you do not have tow hooks, we stated to cut that plastic out up underneath there and you've got to put that bracket through there. Now you won't have your tow hook there so you don't have your factory bolts. We supplied four more bolts exactly the same as the ones that you mounted your guard to your brackets with and you'll just use those. The holes are still there whether you got tow hooks or not. You just got to use our bolts um, if you don't have tow hooks. And to align the grill guard, I always get a tape measure and I'll measure on both sides from side to side to make sure you get it the same. Once you've got it the same, I'll come over here on one side and I'll lift up. There's an adjustment up and down. I'll get about right in the middle of the adjustment up and down on one side and tighten one of the bolts. And then we'll put a floor jack on the other side and you can get right here, you can back straight up and you can line the grill guard up with the rear view mirror. That way you know you're right from side to side. I line the top of my loops up with the top of the hood line right there on each side. And you can take the jack and jack it up and down. Um, whichever needs to be to get the other side the same. And once the other side the same, then you just tighten your other side up and make sure all bolts are tight. Go through it one more time and make sure all bolts are tight before you drive off. And that's your install in your 2015 25 3500. Because now it goes to the 16 um, Chevy truck. To do the sensor bar grill guard, we're gonna show you how to take the grill out. In order to get the center sensors out right there, you gotta be able to take the grill out to get to the sensors. So this little guy here, we've already done this. We're just going to backtrack a little bit and show you how we took it out. There's a bunch of these little pegs right here. They're down in there. I take a screwdriver and you can pry that thing up and see it separates like that and they'll pop out. Okay. Go ahead and take all of them out. I think there's like 12 of them or so in there. 
then that's going to get that little plastic off of there. Set it up up there. And the grill, is, again, it's just barely in there. We've already done this. Just back, we're backtracking. There's 10 millimeter, four little 10 millimeter screws that go up in the top here that you got to undo. We put one of them back in. They're just little 10 millimeter screws that you got to take out, or little bolts, whatever you want to call them. And that will remove those top bolts right there. And the grill, I start pulling out at the bottom. Again, it's just barely in there, and I'm going to show you how it comes out once we get it out here. The top one's still snapped back in. I'm going to snap it back out. It's a tight little fit down there. There's a whole bunch of these little catches right here that snap in to spots in the truck, okay? And we're pulling them straight out. Don't force force it, just be easy on it, but it comes straight out. Sometimes you can even take a screwdriver from the top there and put in there and try to help work them loose as you're trying to get them out if they're being a little bit tricky to get out, okay? But just be careful that the grill's gotta come out to get to those sensors right there, okay? You're still gonna need your screwdriver. Just once that grill's out, you gotta be able to get back here. It's really hard to see, but there's a little hole back there that you can feel to get to your center sense, your inner sensor right here, okay? And this is a harness that's in the kit. I'm gonna show you that way it's easier to see so you can see what I'm doing here. This little peg, this little thing's gonna pull out right there, the little red thing pulls back. You press that down and you pull that out. Your sensor is gonna look like this. The one that plugs into your sensor looks like this, okay? So you're gonna un you're gonna unplug your sensor. Well, really, to get the unplugged, what you need to do, take a screwdriver, same screwdriver. You can kind of push on this little sensor right there, okay? Or this one right here, I'll show you on this other side. You can have another guy up here at the flashlight shining for you. And what you're gonna do is pull this plastic back a little bit, and you're gonna get a screwdriver back in there and try to in in order to get that little sensor out, okay? But shine, get a flashlight up there and you can see down in there, you can get from the back side how Once I your sensor's it. out and relocated in your sensor guard, this is the new harness right here that's got to be used so the wiring harness is long enough because your wire harness is not very long in the bumper. So the, there'll be two of these in each kit, that way you can relocate your sensors in the sensor bar.